But and again, the Miami-Dade Police Director is making headlines along with this big case and her immediate reaction yesterday. Local 10's Rosh Lowe continues our team coverage now from police headquarters in Doral. So shortly after this incident happened with Tyree Kill, Miami-Dade's Police Director comes out and says that she wants full transparency. A lot of people say if you want transparency, release the body-worn camera video. We've been out here the entire day trying to get this video, and Miami-Dade police are not releasing it. We have seen several angles of Tyreek Hill's stop outside Hard Rock Stadium on Sunday. We have seen him on the ground in handcuffs. We know that he was issued several tickets, and we know cops say he was driving carelessly. What we haven't seen is the entire body camera of the incident. On Sunday, Miami-Dade's police director, Stephanie Daniels, said there would be full transparency and there's an internal affairs investigation and an officer has been placed on administrative leave. The police union says that he'll put people at risk because of his driving and he was not being cooperative during the stop. Once again, the body camera video would add to the transparency. <coughs> in fact, when body cameras were first introduced in Miami-Dade County, in 2016, it was promised to add transparency for the public. In the Hill case, Miami-Dade police say, due to the internal affairs investigation, they won't release the video until the IA is complete. Yet, we have seen other agencies release video hours after an incident. Take this police shooting in Broward County several weeks ago. That was a case where a suspect was shot and survived. But BSO released the video and had a the news conference in, hours after the situation. incident. Was Hill uncooperative, as the union says? Was this a case of police going too far? I'm not sure what the motivation of that driver is. You get the car stopped. You're asking him for the driver's license. He's not cooperative. I think the body cameras when that would come out. I have not seen him, but I, as I understand, he wasn't cooperative. They're asking him to step out of the car. He doesn't want to. So there's a whole series of things going on. So what Miami-Dade police are saying is that there's an internal affairs investigation and by statute they can't release the video, but we have seen, as I pointed out in the story, other cases, other jurisdictions where that video has been released. There are clearly several different sides of the story. The video would clear that up. When will it be released? We'll be on top of it and keep you posted. In Doral, outside Miami-Dade Police Headquarters, I'm Ross Schlow. Local 10 minutes. Okay, let's now let's